Welcome to the Pharma Voice Editor's Take video series, filmed live at the 2012 DIA Annual Meeting in Philadelphia. Hosted by Taryn Grom, editor of Pharma Voice. In this session, Taryn meets with Barry Peterson, PhD, Senior Manager, Clinical Affairs, Philips Respironics. Welcome to the 2012 DIA Annual Conference and Pharma Voice's Editor's Take video program, Dr. Peterson. Thank you. We want to talk to you a little bit about actigraphy, and what is that? Actigraphy is the measurement of motion, and it's done with small devices that monitor acceleration. And these devices are typically worn on the hip or the wrist. Now the data from these devices can be analyzed in several ways. Uh, a typical way of analyzing the data would be to calculate, for example, the mean activity during the day or perhaps total sleep time during the night. And these type of endpoints uh, have been and continue to be very useful in clinical trials. But I believe that the signal from the accelerometers really contains additional important information. So what can be done to enhance the value of actigraphy in clinical trials? Well, first, we need to develop algorithms to uh, explore and identify that additional data that's in the accelerometer signal. Uh, this would very likely lead to the development of new endpoints that would be unique to actigraphy. The second thing that has to be done is that we need to precisely define the role of actigraphy in a clinical trial and its ability to provide either a primary endpoint or endpoints that complement other measurements that are made in a clinical trial. This can be done uh, with validation studies that demonstrate the uh, value of this additional actigraphy and its ability to contribute to the overall success of the clinical trial. And so why are these enhancements so important? Oh, they're very important because the sooner we can bring actigraphy to its full potential, the sooner it can be applied to clinical trials and be used to enhance the development of new drugs and new therapies that will improve health care and hopefully even lower health care costs. Well, I want to thank you, Dr. Peterson, for explaining a little bit about this interesting technology and bringing it to our viewers. Well, thank you very much, and thank you for inviting me. Additional Editors Take videos, as well as podcasts, white papers, webinars, and more, are available in the resources area at www.pharmavoice.com.